Hi guys and welcome to another quick Photoshop video tutorial. Previously I showed you how to make a brushed metal effect in Photoshop and now that you have that texture, well there's a lot of things that you can do to it and one of them is create a bullet hole in it, a bit like the one you're seeing right now. So let's go ahead and start, go to file, new, make a document 200 by 200 pixels, 200 by 200 and make sure it's on 8 bits. Now hit OK. Take your background layer and duplicate it. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Again, go to Filter, Render, and this time choose Difference Clouds. Now go to Filter, Noise, Median, and make it about 4 pixels. Go back to Filter, go to Sketch, and set Chrome. Make sure both of these are in 0, and hit OK. And now we want to make it a bit brighter to make it look like molten metal kind of texture. Go to layer, uh, sorry, image, adjustments, levels, and just make that move this to the left of it, and that should do it. Hit OK. Now create a new layer, take your brush tool, make your brush 90 pixels and hardness to 80%. Make sure you're on black, and about in the middle, just make one little circle. Now go back to your metal layer, take the quick selection tool which is this one right here, make sure and add, and just try to select an area around the circle, and this happens quite a lot, it actually happened to me every single time I tried it. So what you can do now is just take subtract, and what we want to do is make a selection around the circle, and so that it's not square, so um, maybe add a bit there, and this can be a real pain, this doesn't always work like you want it to. Okay, so now that I have my selection, I'm going to go to Select, Inverse, and hit Delete. Now this is looking pretty good. Let's go to our um, Circle layer and put some effects into it. Go to Bevel and Emboss, and put it to Down, make it 90 degrees, make sure you're an inner bevel, make it smooth, size, let's put that to about 8 pixels. Now go to inner glow, make it grey, light grey, and turn up the size a little bit, so to about 16 pixels. Now hit OK. So now you have this nice soft curve around our circle and it looks like the metal is going inwards. So this is just what we wanted. Now go to your metal layer, hit FX, and give it a little drop shadow. Make sure you're 90, and this is looking pretty good. Now hit OK. So this is our bullet hole, and it's done, and what we can do is take it, select both our layers, and just drag it down. And here we go. And this is looking great. So it will look differently each time. So, you know, you can do it over and over again to get different bullet holes just so they stay random. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. If you like my videos, subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time.